Hey everybody, what's going on? Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Uh, I hope you're ready for this one. Ginger Billy's been at it again. Uh, this is the Ron Beer 2.0. It says the best lawnmower in the world just got even bester. So I can only imagine what they've done to it. It looks like they've put tires on the back of it and uh, it's got a roof rack now that I don't believe was on there before with a weed eater on it. But I'm curious to see what else they've done to this thing. Because before it was just sitting on the mowing deck on the back. And it didn't have back tires on it. Anyway, before we get started, as always, we're going to hit Ginger Billy with a like and subscribe on the original video. All of his links will be in the description below. So you can go check that out. Uh, or check him out on his socials. Um, and then we're going to jump straight into this and see what he's got in store for us. That's how to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, America. I would like to introduce all of you to the new and improved yeah. Run Beer 2.0. You see, three years ago, me and Bobby created the coolest lawnmower in the world, and we called it the Ron Beer. Right. But the Ron Beer had a few wrinkles that need to be ironed out. You know, for instance, we could not figure out for the life of us how to keep the back tires on and put the deck under the car at the same time. We didn't have enough clearance on yeah. the old Ford Festiva. So, with the first model, we decided just to take the tires off since it was a front wheel drive. Right. We put the deck under the back axle and we used three ratchet straps to strap that <laughs> bad boy on. Right. Now that is not the safest method to put a deck onto a car with three blades rotating it. I thought they just updated the first one. I didn't realize that was a different car. Or is it? Because the the back one didn't have the hatch on the back. It was it was cut off already. On the first one. See? It was already missing the back of the truck. Now that is not the safest method to put a deck onto <laughs> right. a car with three blades rotating at 200 mile an hour, but it did the job. He's got a point. Well, we figured, <laughs> let's do it better. Let's make the Ron Beer more excellenter. And that is exactly what we did. You see, the Ron Beer 2.0, as you can see, has four Maxis <laughs> all-terrain tars. No street tars. I'm talking all-terrain tars. That means if it's wet, soggy, muddy, it don't matter. You can cut the grass with the Ron Beer 2.0. Now, in order for us to fit the 54-inch deck under the Ron Beer 2.0, we needed about four inches of lift. And the way we did uh, that was we took out the original struts from the Ford Festiver, and we rigged some things up. <laughs> you see, the front struts here are from a Kia Rio mm -hmm. 2001. The back struts back here are from a 1991 Volkswagen Golf. That's our redneck lift kit. And it worked, as you can see. That'll... <laughs> it's a redneck lift kit. <laughs> I haven't heard that term yet. <laughs> He's got a point. Hey, if it works, it works, right? <laughs> That's our redneck lift kit. And it worked. As you can see, that yeah. allowed us to put the all-terrain tires on and to be able to fit the deck under the Ron Beer 2.0. Now let's move on to the back of the car. Mm. Now, as you can see, nothing runs through you like a beer. Now, <laughs> right. when I open this truck up, it houses the 25 horsepower Kawasaki motor that powers mm. them three blades in the deck. We got our gas tank set up. Everything's safe in here, okay? Everything looks good. I have a firewall right there. That way, I can't inhale none of the gas fumes. And if it catches on fire, that'll keep me safe for all of three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> better than no seconds. Now, right. <laughs> we have the smokestack, the exhaust, coming out the top of the car. That way, I won't be getting no carbon monoxide and dying in the process of cutting the yard. Right. When you're cutting grass, there will be places that you can't get to 
with your lawnmower. You know? You'll need your weed eater. Or if you're landscaping, you might need your rake or your hedge trimmers. That is why we have added on some attachment holders to the Ron Beer 2.0. Let's see, <laughs> I need my weed eater. All I gotta do is walk up, take my locks off, pop that weed eater right there, crank her up, and go to weed eating. <laughs> and when I'm done, <laughs> it's not what he said. It's the the little dance that he did when he said it. <laughs> it just cracked me up. <laughs> Watch it when he goes. We can go to weed eating. <laughs> Take my locks off. Pop that weed eater right there. Crank her up. And go to weed eating. <laughs> and when I'm done, I take my weed eater. Love this dude. And I pop it back on there. Like that right there. And I lock her down. Okay. And then I'm ready to go. The first Ron Beer was built just to cut grass. It didn't have no special add-ons or anything like that. But you see, the Ron Beer 2.0 is a much more luxurious version of the Ron Beer. You see, this Ron Beer 2.0 right here has got all the bells and whistles. So let's get inside and check them out. In the summertime, okay. when you're cutting grass on a regular lawnmower, you're gonna be out there under the sun. You're gonna be getting all hot and sweaty. But you don't have to worry about getting all hot and sweaty when you're cutting grass in the Ron Beer 2.0 because it has air conditioning. Air conditioning. Oh, <laughs> and you'll also probably get thirsty while cutting the grass. But don't worry, the Ron Beer 2.0 also has a drink maker. But before I pour my drink, let me get me some ice out of my built in cooler. Let's get us a nice cold drink. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Got me a fresh cold drink. Thanks to the drink maker in my Ron Beer 2.0. Now I can go cut me some grass while sipping on my ice cold drink and listening to some tunes in my nice air conditioned Ron Beer 2.0. Now let's say I done drank all my drink while cutting the grass. And now I got a pee pee. But I don't want to get out the pee pee. Oh, no. I want to keep cutting the grass. I can do that because my Ron Beer 2.0 <laughs> has a urinal. That's right. So I can keep on cutting the grass. <laughs> so I knew that's where he was going with that. With the second jug sitting there. Uh, I, I just knew it. It's, I just knew it. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a urinal. <laughs> Ron Beer 2.0 has a urinal. That's right. So I can keep on cutting the grass while pee pee. <laughs> now this here is the pulley system that is attached to our motor, which operates the deck. Uh, I only had to buy 47 belts uh, to figure out the proper size <laughs> hey. and length that we would need to run from this pulley to the deck. I am I am about five hundred dollars deep in belts. <laughs> no joke. If you need a belt, uh, just holler at me. I'm pretty sure I have that particular size. Mm -hmm. Let's cut some grass. <laughs> can't hear anything, but can't beat it. <laughs> I want y'all to look 
at this beautiful, clean-cut path right. that the Ron Bear 2.0 just cut. Look at You got to admit, he is creative. And it makes perfect sense, especially when you consider the 36-acre property he owns. Uh, <laughs> it definitely makes perfect sense, especially being out in the sun that long. As a redhead, <laughs> yeah, he's better off in the truck. Uh, but, uh, anyway, you can tell just looking at him how much he's out in the sun. But like I said, he is inventive. You gotta give him that much. He's got a cre very creative mind. Path. This Some is the wrong man 2.0. Just cut. Look at That's better than any husky, Barney. Any skag. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no air condition, do you? Uh -uh. Okay. I do. I got an air condition, a drink maker, and I'm just cutting pretty lines like this right here. Look, <laughs> didn't miss a spot. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, he scalped it. I did not scalp it, okay? That's like a two-inch cut. <laughs> All the bald spots was already there. Thank you very much. Look here. I mean, she's cut, huh? That is a beautiful, pristine cut. I bet you all them millionaires that live at the lakes and stuff like that, they'll be calling me. Hey man, you come cut my grass in the Ron Beer 2.0? Them boys in them regular zero turns can't do it like you do. What you think about that? You know, I really feel like this proves that me and Bobby are not only the best redneck engineers in the world, but probably the best engineers in the world. I don't see Tesla doing nothing like that, you know? He, but anyway, see, I, I gotta go cut the rest of the yard in my nice air-conditioned Ron Beer 2.0. Oh, but before I do, I will be picking one lucky person in the comments to win this signed Ginger Billy doll. That's right. <laughs> one of you is going to win a little me. Oh, so, God. fellas, if, you, if you're married or if you got a girlfriend, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, don't let your wife see it. She might cheat on you with it. You might come in there and shoot. Well, shoot far, your boyfriend might be kidding. You got a boy with a boyfriend. He might be kidding. I don't know. I'm just saying. So, I'm going to pick one lucky person in the comments to win a signed Ginger Billy Dog. God bless y'all. I love you. Still going. Oh God! Like I said, he, he, he gotta say they are creative, you know. Him and uh, what's his, what did he say? His name was Bobby. They are. They definitely are creative. Some of the stuff they come up with, some of the trucks he builds, and the turning the zero turn into a tractor. I saw that video on there. Uh, He's just <laughs> all around redneck, you know. <laughs> He's <clears throat> excuse me, I had a little bit of heartburn, but at least my stomach's finally done with whatever the hell it was doing. It, it, it's healed up enough to where it, it's I don't have to keep it covered anymore. So, which is a good thing. Um, uh, because they want me to keep it clean and dry. It ain't kind of hard to do when you have to keep it covered. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Let me know what else I need to get to. I'll get there as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, follow me on to the next video. That's going to just about wrap this one up. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here at Jerry J.